All right, folks, it's Decepticon Soundwave time, specifically the Netflix original series version. I picked this figure up over at Walmart.com. There's no way in hell I'm going into a Walmart right now. Straight out of the box, Soundwave looks pretty darn good, and I actually really dig the blue, and it's really nice looking. Very, very G1-esque looking. The one thing that I'm just totally weirded out by are there are pieces on this figure that are different blue colors. Like, right here, the piece that is connecting the shoulder, or the inside shoulder, to the outside shoulder, that's different blue. That's different blue. And there are a couple of other weird molding... Oh, uh, the backpack section, different blue. It's just weird. Why can't they find universal colors? Anyway, actually, I wouldn't be surprised if you thought, well, what's different on this guy? Well, having the two sound waves next to each other is definitely an easier way to tell. First off, head sculpts are exactly the same, except amber eyes and amber light piping on Siege Soundwave, with red being on the Netflix original. Chests are definitely wider. The chest is a completely different component. The piece right here in the crotch appears to be similar, but it is molded the same on the skirt armor, but the actual piece right here, the crotch armor, definitely different. Legs are completely different. Lower legs are completely different. Feet appear to be exactly the same. Along with the forearms, the forearms are exactly the same. Hands are similar. The upper arms are exactly the same. The shoulder components are, in fact, different. And I mean, those backpacks are completely different. Not to mention their booty. One booty is a cockpit for a space, space barge. The other booty is much more fun. Play, pause, stop, forward, and back. Hmm, he could have some fun with that. Difference in the weapons is the paint. The Siege version has this nice red stripe going along the outside, where the Netflix version does not, and the inner gun is, or inner gun barrel is different. Not to mention the Netflix one is much shorter for some reason. Similar story for the shoulder cannons. The, er, the Netflix one actually moves a little bit more, where the Siege one is painted much, much better and moves, but the click is, well, that requires a lot more force. And then the gun each one comes with is it, they're exactly the same mold, just different colors. Another difference is just how well the chests open. On the new figure, the chest opens much, much farther. On the Siege figure, it doesn't open as far. And one other just issue that I've always had with my Soundwave, Soundwave's right shoulder just freaky refuses to peg in correctly. Oh, come on, get in there! The laser beaks are very similar, but as you can see, the Netflix version is painted much, much more than the original Siege version. The uh, bottoms are exactly the same. And yes, both Laserbeak and Ravage can form shields. God, that is so stupid. Laserbeak's transformation into Condor mode is very simple. It's just folding bits out, in and out, here and there. The hardest part of the transformation is getting the bird beak out. One thing that I absolutely love is the attention to detail with laser beak. We have the Cybertronian Siege version here, and we have the Earth version here. It's nice to see this nod to the original Generation 1 figure where you had this more cockpitty single visor look in the original Generation 1 episode with the actual bird version here on the left. Ball joint in the head, swivel in the shoulder, hinge just next to that, bicep swivel, over 90 degree bend at the elbow, no fist articulation, unfortunately. Notice the pointing finger there, that allows him to fold his arm up and push his own buttons. Torso swivel, can kick forward at almost 90 degrees. Moving the butt flap out of the way, you can kick the leg back 90 degrees, can do the splits. Thigh swivel, 90 degree bend at the knee. Ankle articulation is nowhere near as good as the original figures, unfortunately. Let's take a look at Ravage, Netflix series versus Ravage, Siege. I want to say that they are different, but the molding is exactly the same. The only real difference that I can find is the paint. Transformation for this Ravage continues to be not that much fun. I, I did not like this figure when it first came out in Siege, and I don't like it all that much here. I find it to just be too dang fiddly and just not that much fun, if I'm honest. And I always forget where the heck is his head. Oh, there it is. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the fact that I don't... I recently cut my nails, but 
Transforming him is n just annoying. I don't know. Ah, there we go. Ugh, that doesn't look right. Yeah, unfortunately, neither of these ravages are any that are any really that good. They're just kind of meh. They they just proportionalize. They just look all wrong. This is easily the most G1 accurate sound wave we've ever gotten, other than the Masterpiece figure. I genuinely like it. I think it's really good. I just think we need to take this thing and turn it around, because the little gun piece just has a tendency to pop out. Uh, either way, I'm happy with this. I really am. But I'm one of the crazy people that really liked Soundwave's Space Barge. I always liked this thing. This, I, I just genuinely like it because it gives Soundwave mobility as opposed to this Sony Walkman. Oh well, there's nothing I can do about that because this was the way the, the figure was, or the character was, in the original G1 show. And this works. It honestly does. Will we get an original Generation 1 version of Megatron? <laughs> no. But I'm happy with the sound wave. I, I like it. I think it's a great testament to the engineering that Hasbro can do, because these are virtually the same figures that have very similar transformations, but we actually have a tape deck here and a space barge here. So yeah, I think Hasbro did a good job with this sound wave. So folks, let me know what you think of this sound wave down in the comments. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Ball Matrix, and I'll catch you next time.